you going? Uh, Tony Rodello, um, ten-time Australian Sportsland champion, uh, turned 40 this year, so um, starting to push the age limit. There's a few younger guys coming through, but it's good that we're still fighting the um, fighting for the lead. Um, look, I've been driving sports sedan since I was 17, so quite a few years, and the old girl's done a few uh, few miles as well since 1992 when it was originally built. Um, so the cars are mid-mountain chef, uh, transaxle, and obviously since 1992 it's changed quite a bit. So pretty much, um, you know, they still got the old original tin roof from the original Alpha, sill panels, doors, A, B and C pillars, um, and plenum. That's all the original car from back when it was built. Um, even the hatch. So it's got a little bit of the old sports and hand rules from when it was built, um, but also some of the newer stuff. It's a bit more side intrusion, a um, bit more aero diffusers, a bit more aero on the front with spoilers and that. So one of the biggest things for us is we're always chasing a little bit more downforce compared to the later model cars. And we bolt on more downforce. We increase the downforce and then obviously another part of the car becomes weak. So then we're always it wasn't originally built that way, it had tunnels originally um, which weren't allowed to be used back then but there's always things that we try to keep the original car there without jeopardising its history yep. but also keep it up the front. So I think we've done pretty well at that um, but you know always looking in the mirror and there's always a Tomasi, there's always a bloody Audi in the back. Um, so uh, we've been through a lot of generations of uh, different drivers and you know like Dad's been involved in the sports van since early 80s from when the first car was built in Perth in 1984 I think it was so mate it's good it's, it puts sometimes it's a pressing weekend um, there's a lot of uh, challenges on the way and um, but mate, it's it's fantastic enjoyable um, live on the edge with this no, awesome and I suppose if someone doesn't know much about sports sedans in a simple way how would you describe them I know it's maybe not a simple way, but... Um, look, you speak to anyone who's driven one, you know, young guys coming through, Jordan Crusoe, Thomas Randall, who's, who's on the edge of breaking into V8s, um, Perkins that have driven it, they're the best cars to drive outright, okay? But the problem is, is that there's motorsports as a whole is probably struggling, money is very difficult, and it's not easy to go race a sports sedan. If you've got it right, you can have, have a fairly cheap, weekend but even go-karts expensive these days so um, mate, it's just living on the edge really you know and all pushing the limits so it's like us jumping out of an aeroplane and pulling the parachute we keep going a bit closer to the ground before we pull it we're doing the same thing we're uh, we're getting closer to the edge and we keep pushing our boundaries and, and it shows with our lap times too they keep improving as well so um, a little bit of a harder compound tire so probably chasing speeds a bit, a bit harder for us now but you know the ankle tires are really holding up to the loads that we're putting through them. They're lasting a weekend, plus we can run another one. Just keep the cost down. And, um, you know, we're always got little sponsors coming along, um, looking for massive power gains. The A performance that hopped on board this year for, um, for the sports sedans, they build exhaust systems. Exhaust systems make power, you know, so it's all, all contributed to one direction. We want to go fast. Awesome, well thanks for that Tony and uh, good luck this year with uh, the battle for I suppose championship number 11. Yeah we'll keep pushing along, long way to go but we'll keep pushing. Awesome. Too easy.